um, I'm going to be, I'm going to start out hopeful because I think hopeful is important. And I think it, we need to at least reflect where we're at. And that is democracy is winning. Uh, no mistake, there is a serious and ongoing struggle, but democracy is winning. Um, it's not a struggle between Republicans and Democrats in my mind. It's, it's a struggle between people who believe in democracy over authoritarianism. It's people who believe in facts, data, and science over lies and conspiracy theories. It's people who believe in justice and fairness over pure political power and greed, right? That's what the that's what the divide is. It is not a partisan divide. It is a divide amongst values, amongst people. Uh, and if you look at the 2020 election, we had historic turnout during the worst health crisis the world has faced in a century, right? We we forget that. Like it's like in COVID is like the afterthought. But the people who believe in authoritarianism and lies and the abuse of power are mounting a huge national fight. It's financed by a lot of dark money. Uh, you know, we don't know where it comes from or we know it comes from, you know, heritage action and we don't know where they're getting it from. Um, and it's clearly designed to silence the voices of voters. Uh, and it's doing that in two ways. Um, first, it's just making it harder to vote, right? Just every way that we can think of to make it harder to vote, there are efforts to make it harder to vote. Second, and even more troubling possibly, is the efforts to try and use raw political power to actually overturn the results, not just to make it harder to vote, but to maybe even not count the, the, the results. And the last thing is just going so far as to actually making threats against election officials. And if you didn't see it, there's a Reuters special report today about threats to election officials in Georgia. And you should read it because it's scary. It's bad. So that is very anti-democratic. And so we're trying to make it harder to vote. We're trying to, trying to create systems that try and in, in ways limit the way that our that our, our votes, whether our votes get counted and how they get counted. And that is a big and bad push and it requires us to be engaged.